Hi everyone, welcome back to The Front Room. I'm Kai and I'm joined with my dad today. Hi guys, thanks for joining us today. I'm gonna to be showing you an amazing song today that won the poll that I put up maybe about a week ago. Mm -hmm. We covered the one that came in second, the yeah. 50 Cent Eminem song. Yeah. And that's going up tomorrow for the viewers watching now. Patiently waiting. Yeah, I'm really excited about that. I think it's one of our better videos. That was a great song. Yeah. Um, so that yeah. should be good to watch even for us so <laughs> watching the, it back. So today's uh, song actually beat Patient It actually Rating. beat it by like 15%. I put four songs up. It got 50% of the votes. Did it really? Yeah. Wow. So people absolutely love the song. Oh, wow. it's, it's great, you know, just by itself. Uh -huh. It's sort of important and it completely represents an era of hip hop. Hmm. That of the East Coast, the boom bap. Okay. Um, this group I'm showing you today, so it's a group, it's two guys. They totally just captured the hardcore East Coast sound that was sort of being revived from like earlier in the 80s. Um, so is it from the 90s? It's from the 90s, yeah. And it's from 95. They have an album called The Infamous. And the song I'm showing you today is Shook Ones Part 2. They released Sh Shook Ones Part 1 earlier. It's not really as great of a song, mm -hmm. so that's why I'm showing this one. And this is their most famous song. Um, I'll show you the guys. And the group is? The group is Mob Deep. Mob Deep. Yeah, so these are the guys. Mob Deep, okay. People have mentioned them mm -hmm. on the channel, yeah. for sure. And yeah. and uh, so two, two guys right here, Havoc and Prodigy, going from left to right. This song is just a stellar example of their wonderful dynamic and their gritty sound. Hmm. So I'm excited to show you. I'm always interested when, when they're like, for example, here two guys who do the rap, mm -hmm. they perform the rap, but they also do the production. Mm -hmm. They don't have a, a producer coming in to... Yeah, they. I mean, the album well, does they, have some uh, other production credits, mm -hmm. but like Havoc is one of the greatest producers of all time. Wow. So th I'm introducing a new, you know, top tier producer awesome. to you too. Great. And... Uh, only other thing I'll mention is they're from Queensbridge. Queensbridge? Yeah. Nas, Nas territory. Nas territory, yeah. yeah. Although they're totally different, okay. I think. Um, and even the sign on the album cover, the infamous Mob Deep, you mm -hmm. see that top left? Mm -hmm. they're, they, I think Havoc at the time, at least, maybe both of them, they lived in uh, some housing projects, 41st and Vernon. And that's the sign leading into the housing projects. So then they took the text oh. from the sign and then uh, remodeled it mm -hmm. with the text or the the name of their album and the group, which is sort of cool. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. And then anyways, uh, you want to get into it? Yeah, okay. absolutely. I always like it when we're, you're introducing a new, totally new uh, act to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me as well. I'm going to be showing my dad the music video to the song afterwards. Nice. Um, just so you, you know, it, it's really important in hip hop, I think, especially because of the culture to understand the sort of atmosphere and the vibe that the rappers are trying to give off and it helps just to solidify that mm -hmm. and i think that the the music video is just a really simple but effective um way to get across their lifestyle nice that they're trying to convey so okay. yeah so if you want to check that out that's exclusive ex exclusively on our patreon uh, but it just the music just when you see that video you see how this music springs or comes out of this neighborhood you know you just get that feeling don't you totally yeah Absolutely. anyways without further ado let's get into it okay mob deep Move it up, sir. Word. yeah to all the killers and the hundred dollar billers Almost every line of the song is legendary, just starting off right now. Yeah. To all the killers and the hundred dollar bills. I got you stuck off the realness. We be the infamous, you heard of us. Official Queensbridge murderers. The mob comes equipped for warfare. Beware of my crime family who got enough shots to share for all those. Who wanna profile and pose? Rock you in your face, stab your brain with your nose bone. You all alone in these streets, cousin. Every man for self in his land, we be gunning. And keep them shook crews running like they supposed to. They come around, but they never come close to. 
I can see it inside your face, you're in the wrong place. Cowards like you just get their whole body laced up with bullet holes and such. Speak the wrong words, man, and you will get touched. You can put your whole army against my team, and I guarantee you it'll be your very last time breathing. Your simple words just don't move me. You're minor, we major. You all up in the game and don't deserve to be a player. Don't make me have to call your name out. Your crew is featherweight. My gunshots will make you levitate. I'm only 19, but my mind is older. When the things get for real, my warm heart turns cold. Enough nigga deceased, another story is told. It ain't nothing really. And hey, yo, done sparked the Philly. So I could get my mind off these yellow back niggas. While they still alive, I don't know. Go figure. Meanwhile, back in Queens, the realness and foundation. If I die, I couldn't choose a better location when the slugs penetrate. You feel a burning sensation getting closer to God in a tight situation now. Take these words home and think it through. Or the next rhyme I write might be about you, Sunday show. Cause ain't no such thing as halfway crooks. Scared to death and scared to look, they shook. Cause ain't no such thing as halfway crooks. Scared to death and scared to look. Living the life that the diamonds and guns. There's numerous ways you can choose to earn funds. Some get shot, locked down, and turn nuns. Cowardly hearts and straight up shook ones. Shook ones. He ain't a crook, son. He just a shook one. For every rhyme I write, it's 25 the life. There was so much to gas, you trust safeguard my life. Ain't no time Havoc. for hesitation. The only leads to incarceration. You don't know me, there's no relation. Queens Bridge, and you don't play. I don't got time for your petty thinking mind, son. I'm bigger than those. Claiming that you pack heat, but you're scared to hold. And what the smoke clears, you be left with one and you don't. 13 years in the projects, my mentality is what, kid? You talk a good one, but you don't want it. Sometimes I wonder, do I deserve to live? Or am I going to burn the hell for all the Things I did. No time to dwell on that, cause my brain reacts. Front if you want, kid, lay on your back. I don't fake jazz, kid, you know I bring it to your life. Stay in a child's place, kid, you out of line. Criminal mind thirsty for recognition. I'm sipping, E and J got my mind flipping. I'm bucking, dig him out without a hope for hustling. Get that loot, kid, you know my function. As long as I'm alive, I'm alive, illegal. And once I get on them, I put on all my people's react with lyrics like Max. I hit your dome up when I roll up the beat, go sleep because I'm free. Sunny show, this ain't no such thing. Halfway crooks, scared to death and scared to look. They shook, cause ain't no such thing as halfway crooks. Scared to death and scared to look. They shook, cause ain't no such thing as halfway crooks. Scared to death and scared to look. They shook, cause ain't no such thing as halfway crooks. Great chorus. Pa- I was just about to say, possibly the most iconic hip hop chorus ever. I was thinking it's gotta be iconic. Yeah. Yeah. That line that you mentioned, mm-hmm. I, I've heard that in some other song that we've played. Mm. Absolutely. Oh yeah, I bet you have. It's referenced <laughs> all the time. Is it? Yeah. Blaring synth that comes in right here. Mm, oh yes, is is just like alarming and haunting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it almost sounds like a saw blade cutting through something. Yeah, it does actually. Yeah, it could be. I I, I don't exactly know how he made that sound. Yeah. So that's Mob Deep. Yeah, I I liked it a lot. Uh-huh. It didn't seem to me to be um it didn't seem to me to stand out as being a different sound or a different feel from some of the other 90s rap from the East Coast mm-hmm. you've played for me. 
Okay. It seemed to fit into that vein of music to me. Yeah. Um, so I've all, I'm obviously missing some stuff, well, but but I, I mm. like the voices, mm -hmm. the style of rapping. Yeah. It was really nice, good rapping. It was slightly laid back, but not super laid back. Yeah. Um, and uh, the beat was really, really good. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, the emphasis, the beat's there, but the rap is sort of the main thing of the song. Mm -hmm. You know, the beat didn't compete with the rap yeah, yeah. It, it accompanied the rap really well yeah i agree thought i agree you know yeah yeah not a lot of instruments going on mm -hmm. just a yeah repetitive beat with that piano mm -hmm. which was nice yeah 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 definitely yeah yeah so um yeah i i agree with you in that it's not the strangest thing right uh-huh it's pretty familiar yeah it was so, familiar to me for yeah. sure um what the song achieves, where where maybe I can compare it to something yeah, you've listened please, to, please is, do, like, yeah. is like Wu Tang. Okay. Yeah. Wu Tang is a bit more colorful mm -hmm. because these guys just take it seriously. They don't mess around. If you hear Wu Tang, you have old dirty bass going like, whoa, whoa. oh, oh, yeah. Know? Yeah. Or then you'll have Method Man with some funny lyrics like M A T H O D Man. Hey, you, you like my, you know? Sure, <laughs> he's, sure. a, he's, it's sort of funny in a way, right? Yeah, yeah. Even though they're tough guys. Yes. But these guys are just hardcore, straight to the point. And I don't think right. that in terms of the content, we've had something so direct as this on the channel yet. Right. I can't really think of an example. Well, Even with the Fugees, right? They're a little bit more say... like cerebral in, yeah. in like their, how do I say, their compositions. And even the Fugees do do uh, infuse some humor into some of their songs, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, and Quasimodo. Mm, oh, well, the, very, well, very much yeah, so. Yeah, yeah obviously. That's, but, a that's a different yeah, but, vein and, of music. So really. you get the point, right? Yeah. So they are speaking with a whole different level of conviction conviction you know mm -hmm. so when they say mm -hmm. some they shook because they know such things halfway crooks they're scared to death they're scared to look they shook that is the ethos of them and the environment they're in so they shook they're t talking about people who want to seem tough want to want to play the part but they're not really yeah when it comes down to it they're shaking in their boots. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. When they're put in those tough situations, they can't handle it. Yeah. 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 So is he talking there about uh, um, what people are doing on the street to get by? That sort of thing? Not or, is he, or is he like, talking about rap? As rappers, I'm, they shake. It's pretty true or, to real life. You know, yeah. they're talking to these thug, like thug guys that aren't really thugs because if you're a thug you're not going to be scared right. in certain scenarios right. and that is exemplified by certain lines that they put out and i think maybe the reason why you weren't wowed right away was yeah. because it takes a little bit of um meditating on the lyrics to really understand the scope of it all despite its simplicity i think mm -hmm. so for example this is probably my favorite section um during havoc's verse I think sometimes I wonder, do I deserve to live or do I, or am I going to burn in hell for all the things I did? No time to dwell on that because my, my brain reacts. Yeah. So he put something, I mean, when you hear it for the first time, you probably call it, you're like, oh, that's interesting, right? Yeah, I like that, that uh, series of lines there. But yeah. it's such a smart way to get across the point that if you're placed into a certain environment, you have to sacrifice some of your morality mm -hmm. in order to make things work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's what he's getting at. At there right he, yeah. he he's he's smart enough to realize that you know what maybe some i'm not doing something that is okay yeah but I there's like no that. time to dwell on that yeah right? i like that part no time to dwell on that because my brain reacts but yeah he's he's in his environment he's got to be on his toes he's got to react to things going on and he can't sit back on a park bench and contemplate uh his behavior to the same degree that some people could in other environments right? yeah exactly yeah. and i think yeah. the greater sort of idea of that is that um which is pretty powerful is that people in situations such as the, their situations they don't have the luxury of time mm -hmm. time is a very valuable thing right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um so that's that's something mm -hmm. that they have to face right so that's a wonderful line yeah um, and that's also mentioned with ain't no time for hesitation that only leads to incarceration 
So if he's got to make a decision, yeah. even if it's dangerous, he's he's going to do it without yeah. thinking about it. Yeah, yeah. Um, basically, right? Right. So. Yeah. I like the fact he said if he something about it, if he's going to die, uh, let it be in Queensbridge or something. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Real loyalty to his to his neighborhood, eh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then Prodigy enters with just an amazing line. I got you stuck off the realness. We be the infamous you heard of us. Official Queensbridge murderers. He's letting you know in two lines who they are. Mm-hmm. Um, and introducing you to Mob Deep, basically. So that's why I also think this is a good introduction. Mm-hmm. It sets up their their whole, you know, yeah, uh, mind. They're like the way of thinking. Um I mean, I can go like line for line, basically. Right. Um, it's one of the songs where you, where if you keep hearing it, you'll understand why the timing of all their words and the placement of everything in combination with each other is just perfect. It fits so well. Um, a lot, you know, a lot of a lot of hip hop music. Maybe you'd agree during this era, hearing it twenty five years later, it sort of sounds like the period. Yeah, well, th- this did to me for sure. Yeah, and this might to you at first, but it it just exists by itself because of how good it is for a lot of people. So that's why wow. I think it holds up to um, today yeah. really well. Yeah. Um, Interesting. Yeah, it's, it's like a real representation of just perfection within a certain box, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, like this isn't as much of... An artistic statement as it is just like a documentary right right because with the documentary you present the way things are mm-hmm. and you might have a style within presenting it that mm-hmm. makes it more tangible for the listener or the audience right and i think that's what these guys do compared to some of their contemporaries possibly like the fujis or something like that mm-hmm. because they're 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 sort of bending things a little bit more mm-hmm. to make it more attractive but sure. these guys are just telling it how it is right I, yeah, I appreciate that. I, I understand what you're saying mm-hmm. for sure. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So uh, yeah. That, that's what I think of the song. So it's sort of like the real face of Queensbridge at that time and their lives at that time. Yeah. The real, yeah. But with those lines, like the lines I mentioned, they encompass the struggles of anybody in a similar scenario too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that that for me, uh, I noticed with some rap, I can certainly, certainly make that jump. Mm -hmm. You know, they're talking about, let's say, their environment where they grew up and the struggles and challenges they have. And then I can extrapolate that to me really easily. Yeah. You know, I think, yeah, man, I get what you're saying. You know, I've experienced that particular feeling uh, myself, uh, perhaps. Um, Some songs... uh, I get that feeling more than others. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, in this one, I don't really get that so much yeah. for me. It's more like I'm I'm looking into a window on, on these guys and what they're going through. Mm-hmm. Uh, can I relate exactly to what they're going through? I'm not sure. I'd have to listen to it again. That's why it takes a little bit of time to yeah. sort of pick it apart, I think. Yeah. Um, but just, I haven't really thought of this before. I just mentioned the documentary thing, like compared yes. to a movie, comparing their style to some other people during this same period. But like... Mm-hmm because they're more like a documentary style in you know audible format yep what's interesting though is that you know with a documentary you'll have people giving interviews and things like that giving their side of the story but then you'll have a narrator tying it all together yes and they're they're the ones doing the work to sort of interpret what they say and link things together but i think here it's just like they're telling the story and you have to do the work to fill in the blanks. There's no middleman or... Exactly. Hmm. So that's why it takes more time to sort of get what they're saying. And it's more... um, Yeah, it makes it less relatable. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Which is, I don't think is necessarily... I don't don't think the best music has to be relatable to all people. No. So I don't really think that's... Not that you're saying it's an issue, but I think it just, uh, just... Yeah. Anyways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, since you regard this song uh, and these guys in general so highly Mm -hmm. and they won the poll, the recent poll, that means I got to show these guys 
some definite respect and listen to this again yeah. and try and get more out of it. Um, I liked it. I liked the beat. I liked the vo vocals. Mm -hmm. um, I, di I didn't really look too much at... You know how they're rapping and they're rap they're rapping. Um, you don't need to skill actually like, that, ability. That yeah. is the thing you don't really need to pay attention right. to for them. So yeah. and that way it's hard to latch on to some sort of technical ability because uh -huh. you can be wowed by that, right? It's you can exciting be. and yeah, you, can you think be. wow that takes skill, right? Yeah. But actually, like these guys are skillful in how straightforward they put it, and that is like a really hard to do, thing to do uniquely. Mm. Because um, a lot of people can talk straightforwardly, but they can't do it in their own way. Yeah. But like, if you hear these guys, that's interesting. Over time, you will. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I mean, I I honestly sort of anticipated that you wouldn't love it, so this is totally okay. Oh, really? Eh? Yeah, because it's it's just pretty pretty simple if you compare it to something that's a lot more sort of cinematic, like that patient, like patiently waiting. Mm -hmm. Um, this yeah, can with, seem a little with bit the music going on. And yeah. Stuff, and all yeah. these changes, it's very dynamic, yeah, right? Is, yeah. Um, yeah. this might seem a little bit underwhelming, yeah. but, uh, I regard it as quite literally, and it's, I'm not even saying this because it's been referenced so much and all this stuff, just the song by itself. Mm -hmm. I put it in like my top 25, 50 hip hop songs. Do you really? Yeah. Wow. Oh, okay. um, it's amazing. Yeah. Anyways, well, um, well, no, I just want to say I'm glad you did it because it won the poll, and uh, <laughs> we love these polls, guys. Putting them up every so often mm -hmm. for you guys to choose, and through the polls, you know, we might play something that I might not uh, necessarily love, but yeah. uh, well, but, I mean, but but I want to be exposed to as much rap as I can. Uh, you know, stuff I like, stuff I don't like, and decide what I like. Exactly. You know? uh, and I was going to mention that yeah. the channel is, as much as it is me showing music I like, mm -hmm. it's almost just as much as me exposing you to music that you might not like or that you might like, mm -hmm. regardless of whether or not I like it. And I've shown you some songs in the channel that I haven't outwardly expressed that I have I don't love or I don't like like that much yeah i've actually showed you some songs like that on the channel have you really? but i haven't really mentioned that fact oh, because yeah. i want to just expose you to what people like mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. otherwise if you get sort of my narrow taste of yeah of hip-hop and any other sort of music it becomes a little bit you know not one-sided but it becomes yeah, narrow it does yeah so uh yeah anyways the song is essential and then i think i'm gonna just show you the video. After I'd like this to see the video because I like. Well, I like the song. It's so colorful. I like the the video is colorful. And, and... Well, the video isn't colorful. That's oh. why it's good. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll uh, we'll check that out. All right. Just quickly good. right now. So, uh, anyways, if you're watching this video, thanks a lot for watching. And I'm gonna be putting up another poll this upcoming week, so you can look forward to that. We covered the East Coast mostly, other than the Solange post entry. Yeah. yeah. Um, in the poll so oh. um <laughs> yeah you did. I, I told thought you, you meant in general i told you to stay off the poll because i didn't want oh, yeah. you seeing the songs right yeah or like yeah. the comments i said i'd catch you looking at the comments and get off the comments right? no i thought you meant to uh, on the channel so far we've no, covered more that's true posts. yeah because uh we just covered big l yeah shook ones patient waiting yeah all east coast yeah so i'm gonna probably switch it up do some southern stuff or nice. some other type of music I'm at waiting, least. I'm waiting for some more southern stuff. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, so you can look out for that. And thanks very much for participating in it. And if you enjoyed the video or not, let us know in the comments below and what you thought of the song. And otherwise, have a great day. Thanks for watching. See you again soon, guys. Thank you. See ya.